All right, I'm just gonna wing it. <laughs> Hello, Freedom Frequency fam. Today, we have a special treat for you all. I'm gonna show you my top 10 favorite kitchen gadgets. That's great for the RV. And why I think it's great, it either saves you space on storage or it's dual purpose. Those two things are really, really important when it comes to anything you put inside your, your Airstream or your RV. Shall we go inside? Get started. Let's do it. All right, let's go inside. One of the most important slash favorite kitchen item of mine is my Stanley nesting pots. Let me show you. All right, so here it is. I said Stanley, but I meant Stan Sport. What's great about this is it looks like one pot, right? Oh, contraire. It's really five. Is that right? Five pots in one. See, this right here is an actual frying pan. And see this little hook thing? Or this little um uh what do you what do you call that, honey? Slot. Slot. There you go. It comes with this handle with this little pull thing. So you pull it back and it locks in to the pan. So this makes it super easy to store because this isn't obstructing your storage, your cabinet. So this is a frying pan and this also acts as a lid to the big pot. Here we have this lid for the, the, the other pots. So see, I use this. I use this for soups, for stews, and then there are three more nesting pots in here. And each of these, and each of these have the little slot. This is stainless steel, but they they have this in nonstick as well. So if you prefer nonstick, then um, actually a lot of people prefer nonstick for for RV life because it's easier to clean and you're not using as much water. But personally, I feel safer with um, stainless steel um, because the the top layer doesn't peel and like co potentially cause harmful effects. But um, anyway, whatever you prefer is great. My absolute, absolute favorite. My second favorite item, and this was in my last video, spice rack. Okay, so I admittedly did not take my time to make sure this was nice and straight with all the labels. But <laughs> Dude, the labels aren't straight, what happens? Oh. Mostly are. Just life, just life. And these aren't the most like, you know, whatever. Anyway, this is, this is what it normally looks like. Mm -hmm. But I love it because it serves two purpose. You know how I love those dual purpose items? One, it's art. It's colorful, it's symmetrical, it's beautiful. Uh, actually has three purposes. The second purpose is it actually inspires me to cook. So when, when it's in front of my face all day, I'm like, huh, what am I gonna cook next? What's the spice you use the most? Mm, the spice I use the most, well, we use cinnamon almost every day for our coffee. So yeah, I would say that. Um, and the third purpose is that it is out of the way. It does not take any cabinet space, which it used to. So uh, for all those reasons, I love our magnetic spice rack. Cool. So that's number two. That? And I got this one on Amazon. And this is actually, I bought two of them. Each, um, each thing comes with a plate, a magnetic plate and 12 containers. 12 jars and I bought two of them and so I have a total of 24. What do you know? I can do math. So we're gonna go to dishes now, okay? So we had a question the other day on our in our Facebook community and the question was do we ever feel claustrophobic in our Airstream? Now initially I said no but Chris brought up a really good point about the kitchen 
it can get kind of claustrophobic in the kitchen because it's not like at home where you can, you know, kind of put all your dishes in the sink and then like do it at the end of the day. I mean, I don't know if you guys do that, but we definitely did that. And so here as like you're cooking, you have to clean up right away. Otherwise you just run out of space and you just run out of things to cook with. So what I love for the kitchen and for the sink area is this rolling rack, this rolling drying rack. So you can roll it up like this and then roll it out. And as you're washing dishes, you have a couple dishes, cups here and there, you can just let it dry quick style. Um, you can also change the size of this. If you want just like a small rack, you know, you can just hold it up like that. So it's very flexible, which I love. And, but let's say you have a big project, a big dishwashing project. What do you do? We were using this only for, gosh, for months. Made me claustrophobic. For like five months. And the dishes were like falling off the sink, like onto the ground because there's just not enough space on there. So what we did, one of my favorite purchases is we bought these mats, but these aren't just ordinary mats. You see, we also, this came with, um, these came with these organizers. So you can put your utensils in here and then plate plates, pots and bowls. Let's see. And so, yeah, as you're doing the dishes, you just, they connect to they connect to if you want i don't usually like have it connect because it's kind do. of a pain okay so here's the only thing about this i don't love um they're supposed to, it's supposed to click in like this but it's not very secure it's a pain in the butt so i just have this like leaning against the wall and it works fine too so this i love because we can do a lot of dishes at once and it packs up small and it stores nicely and you have nice dry you have a nice dry dishes and a non claustrophobic kitchen. Ooh. So here's another item that I love. You ready? You ready for this? My cutting board. I actually just didn't even buy this for the Airstream. I just brought this from home. You guys probably have this at home already, but they're just these like cutting boards. You can fold it and bend it. And it's great because it takes up no space. And I go, see how it goes right in here. Literally just disappears. Oh my gosh. This was my, this is my future sister, sister-in-law's house. She convinced me to bring a bunch of these mason jars. Why? Multi-purpose. You can drink from it, obviously. And did you guys know mason jars have measurements on here? So you can also use this as a measuring cup. My next item is a paper towel holder. It's simple, we love it. There's no paper towel in here because we ran out. Actually, that's not true. Um, our car is in service right now and we keep paper towels in the trunk of the car. So we, we're out of paper towels at the moment, but it's totally okay. Um, I still love my paper towel holder. It gets things out of the way and off the counter. My pet peeve, I don't know about you guys, but I hate, those paper towel holders that sit on the cabinet. Why? Why? I don't get it. It takes up space. I hate things on the counter. So I love this. It disappears and it, you, I attach it up above with, the, with command strips and it's awesome. So now we're gonna move into the more luxurious items. Items, honey, you're, what I don't you know if luxurious? I should. I don't know if I should back up <laughs> or not. Okay, so we're gonna move into the more luxurious items. What I mean by that is you could argue that you don't need it, but I'm gonna have to fight you on that because I need it. <laughs> okay, so, so number seven is this hanging basket. Um, Personally don't like this item. You don't like this item. This basket, it's macrame. It makes me so happy. I got this on Etsy and I'll tell you why. First of all, look at it. Look at how cute this is, okay? I never even thought macrame would be my thing, 
but i think what it is is in the airstream there's so much aluminum here that it can feel kind of hard and having something soft like this really warms up the space so i love it there are two tiers here it hangs right here on this hook and i can i can put vegetables uh fruit i can hang sunglasses here multi-purpose uh and it makes me happy doesn't make chris so happy but it makes me happy the next luxury item is this uh oh gosh this blender this ninja blender here's why i love it here's why i love it i make a lot of things in the blender and i make a lot of things in the food processor and when i was when we were packing up to to live here full time i was i like was losing sleep because i couldn't bring a blender and my food processor there's just not enough space that would just be irresponsible for an airstream if you have a bigger rv and you can make it work go for it but for me i was like how am i gonna how am I gonna do this? So I thought that there had to be a blender and food processor, um, like somebody has to make that out there. And so lo and behold, Ninja has it, and I'll we'll link the exact model in the description. But this one um, looks like a blender, but it has this, uh, you see these, these three tiers of three levels of blades. This makes it a food processor. So that to me, the dual purpose makes it totally worth the size and the weight of this item. Are you guys ready for the last luxury item? Da, da, da. It's our ice maker. This Here's... made another list. <laughs> it did make another list. But the reason why this is a luxury item um, that we are sacrificing counter real estate for is because you get ice on demand. I never knew how um, vital that is until we started RV life and we were traveling through the desert. In the desert, the water out of the faucet comes out like piping hot. All right, well, I hope you guys got something out of this. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions or any suggestions for us, anything else you think that we might be missing, please put that in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification button. See you next time. We'll just toss this out because it looks kind of funky right now. It doesn't look very classy with an empty paper towel roll. Who left the empty paper towel roll there? Well, Who did it? You don't.